what to do if you are genetically predisposed to depression, panic attacks, diseases, obesity? Until recently, it was believed that your mental and physical well-being is entirely dependent on your genes. And if you were born into a family of alcoholics, then you are genetically predisposed to be an alcoholic. Genetics was like a god and it was believed that you were doomed to carry the genotype of your ancestors, repeating their fate and suffering from hereditary diseases and bloodline curses. If you were prone to conflicts or your marriage failed, then all this was written off to your genes, and you or you have no control over circumstances, because you are a victim of them. Genes have played a major role in your habits, attachments, and even beliefs. But with the development of mankind, a new science of epigenetics has appeared, which scientifically proves the opposite, that it is you who are responsible for your life. By your choice and your mind's decision, you are triggering a signal to turn on or off the hereditary genes in your body. After all, your body is just a material shell, controlled by your soul and spirit. And this is very good news for you. Epigenetics proves that you get heredity from your parents, but not destiny. You choose your destiny yourself. This scientific fact was written in the Bible thousands of years ago. Choose life or death, blessings or curses. The power to choose life belongs to you. Life is Jesus Christ. He is God in the flesh. And from his birth a new chronology begins. The real story of a university professor, which you will hear now, shows the seriousness of what was said. When I got to hell, I realized how wrong I was in trusting philosophers, agnostics and atheists. How wrong they were. Hell exists, and that was my terrible reality. I was fond of various teachings and didn't believe in the afterlife. I thought that I can live as I want, because there is no retribution for actions and words. But the truth is that hell didn't disappear because I didn't believe in it. My dead body lay on a hospital bed. And I, who until recently didn't believe in life after death, continued to exist. And then the worst thing happened. Disgusting creatures attacked me, began to tear me to pieces and eat me alive. They dragged me to hell, a hideous place of torment and suffering. With incredible efforts, the resuscitators brought me back to life, but I still remember all the torments of hell in great detail. After this hellish experience, I believed in the God of the Bible. After all, only Jesus Christ told the whole truth about the afterlife, which I encountered. After returning from hell, I completely changed my life, became a pastor and preacher of Jesus Christ. Only He is the Lord our God and the only truth in the universe. Howard Storm, a university professor, is one of the few survivors of clinical death. Now he teaches that truth doesn't change and hell doesn't disappear because you don't believe in it. Many have had spiritual experiences. Someone almost died, almost drowned, miraculously survived or had an encounter with spiritual beings. By this, God shows the reality of the spiritual world and allows us to touch the supernatural, so that each person can make his choice and live a happy and blessed life with God both here on earth and in eternity, and not suffer with demons during life and after death in hell. Subscribe and learn the truth.